Let's get our acceleration, something's up. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack wide body with a manual transmission. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with the Challenger. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 6.4 liter V8 that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Power outputs are 485 horsepower and then 475 pound feet of torque. Now some of you might be wondering why I didn't mention the fuel economy and that's because if you're buying this car that's not really important but if you are wondering it's 14 around town and then 23 on the highway. Anyways, this has the hood that used to be on the Hellcats. You've got the venting in the center and then on either side looks really aggressive. And then coming down below, notice we've got the LED accent lights with the projector bulb there on either side. Challenger logo right there. And then notice we've got all the venting here at the bottom. And then yes, this does have the little yellow chin guard on it. Obviously when you take delivery of this, they take that off, but this is just for protection while it's on the dealer lot. And yeah, other than that, that's everything for the front. Now coming around the side here, we've got 305 millimeter tires wrapped from 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then this does come with Brembo brakes, also part of this package. And then you do get the gigantic fender flares added on. It's part of the wide body package. And then just notice that you've got the SRT script right there on the Brembo brakes. Looks really cool. We have our Scat Pack logo there on the side that says 392. And yeah, other than that, here is everything for your full side view. Now let's quickly pop here into the trunk area of the Challenger. So you guys can see tons of storage space, especially here for a muscle car. And then pick up this little strap right here. And you can see you've got the whole fix a flat kit situation, all of that just underneath. And well, that's all for the trunk area. So, so yeah. Now let's go to the rest of the rear of the Challenger. So first off, we've got the Scat Pack logo there on the spoiler. We've got the full LED lights here in the back, parking sensors all along the bottom portion with the kind of like rectangular shaped exhaust tip coverings here to match with the boxy styling of the Challenger. And just look how good the wide body package looks here from the rear end. Now here's the door panel at the front of the Challenger. So first notice we've got cloth on this portion of the door panel and then leather here where you're actually going to rest your arm. And then they did darker stitching so it matches with everything. Go have your window and mirror controls right there. And then here are the seats at the front. So we've got these cloth seats with the Scat Pack logo. And then notice you've got that cool design there on the center portion. They're partially power adjustable, partially manually adjustable. There is the pedal layout at the bottom portion. We've got the light control just up here. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then as for the rear portion, I've popped into the back of a million challengers. You guys know for a muscle car, it's got the best amount of space. Notice the seats are pretty much identical as the front ones in terms of the design. They just don't have the crazy bolstering you get here in the front seats. But again, you have a decent amount of leg room and then headroom for a muscle car. But there's one more look before we pop in. Now we're just gonna quickly go over the interior elements because this video is mostly about the driving of this car. So notice again, you've got the nice leather here at the top and the bottom of the steering wheel, it's soft touch, perforated leather on the side, you get a better grip. You've got cruise control, radio controls in the back, controls for the center stack, and then your voice command and phone controls. Got your turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. And then you've got the full digital readout in the center portion and then analog gauges on either side that just look really cool. And then notice the top speed, goes up to 180 miles an hour on the speedometer at least. And then here for the infotainment system, I'll show you guys quickly the backup camera. You can see resolution on it's good. The trajectory lines do turn with the steering wheel. And just like all the other performance oriented challengers, this does come with the performance pages on it. Uh, since this has a cloth seats, you just have the heated seats and heated steering wheel. And then notice we've got the SRT dashboard now. So this is where you can set up the launch control, which just holds the RPMs. Again, like I said, performance pages. And then we have the different drive modes. You've got your auto, custom, sport, track as well. And that'll kind of change everything up. And then it shows you exactly what it is changing in all of the different drive modes that you have here with the car. And then just like all the other challengers, the infotainment system response time is great. Down here, we've got the analog controls for the radio, and then this is the launch control, the parking sensor, stability control, that's to pull up the drive modes. Climate controls, it does have a dual zone climate. And then here is the transmission shifter for the six speed manual. I'll kind of go over this more when I'm actually driving the car, but it's a really good manual transmission, especially for a muscle car. A couple cup holders, and then we've got the center console here, which has some USBs and a 12 volt inside of it. 
it says 392 right there on the venting and then coming over here to the glove box it is all lined with felt and then finishing things up top we do have a darker headliner no sunroof we do have a sunglass holder and then universal garage door openers so here's the window sticker on this particular scat pack notice the base msrp and feel free to just freeze the frame if you want to read all of the standard equipment that comes with this car and then you see this one's pretty much just a wide body with the driver convenience group and then you do have a gas guzzler tax for these cars you can see the total msrp fifty thousand five hundred five dollars but that's why i love this car is it has the safety tech like the blind spot monitoring and then the wide body package nothing else that's all you need for a fun driving experience let's take it out and see how it drives Let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off here in this Scat Pack 392 wide body. So you can see visibility of the hood. It's so cool to see the venting. And then here's through both the mirrors. Remember, this car does have blind spot monitoring. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear. That all being said, well, got to pull up the brake. First gear, let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Challenger wide body. And first off, let's kind of talk about how this would be as a daily driver. So from a clutch perspective, the clutch definitely has some weight to it, but it's not crazy heavy. Like it's a clutch that would be very easy for you to get used to. And it really wouldn't be cumbersome in traffic whatsoever. Now as for the shifter, it also does kind of have a heavier feel to it for the throws, but it's very notchy. It's really easy to get it into the gears. And on top of that, like you, you can tell if you're in the gear or not, like it's, it's very distinct. Again, whether this car is in a gear or not. So we're getting up here, we're gonna get kind of like our partial acceleration. Yeah, like I said, super smooth with the whole transition and everything with all of the gears. Really easy car to get used to. Like this is the kind of car that you can just jump into and instantly you'll pretty much, yeah. Super easy to drive. And I love the blip ability of this 6.4 Hemi. Definitely revs up nicely, just really good. And that's kind of a characteristic of most of, the, most of these V8s with these muscle cars. And the Challenger is no exception, like right now. Yeah, super easy to use overall. One thing that's interesting is the steering definitely does feel uh, pretty light actually in this normal driving mode. What I'll do is we'll pull up the drive modes right here. We'll go into the sport mode. We're gonna go slow right here so you guys can see what this is like. Uh, technically, it's not off-road, but. Yeah, even though this is, so this road right here, they're completely redoing, obviously. And the Challenger is very smooth over it. Like it is not upsetting the car at all. It's not rough or anything like that. Like it's very, very smooth over this uh, type of, uh, or I should say lack of pavement really, right? Because this road hasn't been finished yet very impressive like that is very very impressive i'm pleasantly surprised with that uh, so yeah so far really easy car to drive but we'll get up here and get kind of a full-blown acceleration for all of you so we're getting up and going here and this is kind of more of a traffic type situation yeah it's got so much torque I love just the torquey feel that you have here with the Challenger. Now this right up here, usually we can get a pretty good acceleration with the car. Yeah, this is just, this is a driver's muscle car. I think this is the best iteration of the Challenger. I don't think it's the Hellcat. The Hellcat has so much power, it's unusable. This is still usable and the manual transmission is a ton of fun as well. And so yeah, let's get our acceleration. Something's up. <laughs> So since it's a brand new car, I am short shifting a little bit, but yeah, just tons of torque. This is such a fun car. You could just, this is the type of muscle car that you can just cruise around, row through the gears, have just an absolute blast with. And yeah, let's get into summing things up here with this wide body. So you guys know, first and foremost, I am a huge fan of the wide body package. I love the looks. I love the extra grip you get with the tires as well. Definitely worth it. And then as for this specific car, I like it. It's just a baseline package. You don't need anything else. You've got the blind spot monitor, which helps out with kind of adding some safety to the car itself. 
and then on top of that with the manual transmission it's just an absolute blast this is like the driver's challenger out of any of the challengers this is definitely my favorite to drive and yeah i mean you could daily drive this like i said but also like this is the type of car you drive on the weekend you could drive up and down a canyon road have quite a bit of fun with it and again that wide body package gives you a little bit of extra grip and so yeah overall if you're looking for a driver's muscle car this scat pack wide body with the manual is the route to go now that's going to sum things up for our video on this wide body scat pack challenger again a huge shout out and thank you to the larry schmiller dodge ram here in provo for giving me some time with the challenger check out their inventory in the link below i'll see all of you in the next video